I'll mute your mic. Oh, wait, that's us? Awesome. Um, what up, B-Roots? Ian, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to come up here and uh, speak again. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are aware or remember, but we were up here a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take just one minute to drop an update on where we're at. Um, so DGEN Protocol uh, has recently launched GOAT Token. Um, I was telling you guys about this one uh, recently where we are basically a single asset backed token first, where we're entirely backed with W Pulse. Um, and launch day was absolutely incredible for us. Uh, I think that was on the 20 something. No, the 15th or thereabouts, yeah. We took off with 9.5 billion pulse inside of the contract on day one, um, which has been serving as insulation for our entire token supply um, as third-party markets have been created. Um, we've had 600 unique wallets and over 18,000 transactions involving, and uh, that has stepped up all the way to a value of 750,000 US dollars in single asset liquidity value, right? So that's not even counting the liquidity that's been created on DEXs or other places for GOAT token already. Um, recently, we partnered with SparkSwap, creating a GOAT Spark LP and farm. And uh, currently, that's actually enjoying a positive of 200% APR earning Spark token. Um, and that goes hand in hand with our ongoing uh, promotion deal between uh, SparkSwap and DGEN Protocol. Um, so far, we're on an AMA tour, trying to get the word out there as much as we can about GOAT Token and the growth which we've uh, endured over this last week. Um, so we thought it would be it probably be a good idea to get up here and uh, let you guys know how progress has been going, and uh, of course spread the word again as well. Um, there's a lot that goes into GOAT Token and the surrounding ecosystem. So I just want to finish by saying that, look, if you're into anything of what we're doing, um, then definitely check out our website, dgenprotocol.io or the telegram at dgen underscore protocol. Um, again, we're a single asset backed token uh, based with W Pulse, uh, insulated against third party manipulation of the market um, by the fact that all of the tokens are backed by Pulse. We act as a community bank and uh, yeah, we've just had phenomenal success so far. So, um, yeah, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it, both of you. Is there a reason why I cannot find Ian? Are you, were you talking? No. Okay. I was just looking. Is there a reason why I can't find the actual coin? Oh, right. Uh, if you look on Dex Screener and you search for GOAT, G-O-A-T, uh, you'll find it there. GOAT Pulse is probably one of the bigger pairs, but the biggest one is... Actually there it is. Um, so basically, he just basically copied off of a tropa. Uh, no, I would say we're anything but copying from a tropa. <laughs> um, I can see why there are some similarities drawn, uh, given the way the tropa technology has uh, been developed. Absolutely. But uh, no, we've uh, gone with a very different approach. We're not trying to create a, uh, a pegged or stable coin here. We're not trying to bring anything back to peg. Um, instead, what we're doing is we're creating a token and, like I said, a communal uh, source of value, which basically just continues to appreciate with the price of Pulse. Through the first party liquidity and third party, given the fact that it's two different prices, people arbitrage between that, the, uh, the ecosystem builds up in value as time goes around, and uh, that's basically the idea. So I can see why you say it's like a troper, but I, I would firmly disagree. But it's similar in how it works, right? Like it, it uses, it pairs with tons of liquidity pools, right? And well, I suppose in that sense, yeah, in that it does, yeah. it does work to aggregate liquidity into its single asset backing and all in order gotcha. to expand the supply and the value. Yeah, absolutely. No, I can see why you've uh, gone that way for sure. So it's kind of like that one guy's token, um, A1A, similar. 
I think so. One of our community members was actually describing A1A to us the other day and uh, said that we should look into their mechanics as well. But um, yeah, no, that's one of the things which we've enjoyed the most is the fact that Goat Token has no buy, sell or transfer fees and community members that have minted since launch, they've been going out and pairing up with different tokens left, right and center. Um, like I said, we've seen liquidity on Pulse X. We've seen it on Spark Swap. Hell, I, I think even a few of our community members went and created um, P Hux liquidity pools as well. So, you know, it, it is definitely getting out there and having that effect of decentralized operation the way that we wanted it to. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. I, so I mean, I, I see this kind of being a meta, just how, how you know, how. Uh, Atropa did and I see this kind of coming into I see more tokens doing this but the question I have is if this is the highest liquidity pair that has only 11k in liquidity how do you really cash out like I mean it's just like very small increments right you know good question so that 11k that 11k liquidity pool that you see there that's not the highest one. That's not the highest one. No, the biggest one is of sixty thousand dollars between Goat and Spark Token from Spark Swap. Right, that's our biggest, oh, okay. um, which can actually be seen on their farm. They're, they're actually hosting an LP farm for us where people are earning Spark Token for staking Goat Spark LP. Um, but the, only, the reason the why everyone is able is, to the only problem with that is nobody wants to. Like I would never. Hey, I mean, look, at the end of the day, it's not for everybody. Everyone has their own strategy, and, and that, like, mad respect for that, absolutely. But, yeah, I think if that liquidity is through community... Or Every single GOAT token that exists has to be backed by W Pulse, right? You can't mint tokens without putting W... Correct, but the W... I would say the W Pulse is the main key to it. If you can get... I, I I do think you know every, every I do think a lot of these people are coming from the you know Atropa started this whole thing like whether people want to want to to say it or not like they Atropa definitely started the trend they're the OGs they're the originals um, with this whole narrative uh, yeah I think the the Atropa side of it is a little more on the riskier side of things because of PDI being a PRC20 token. So you have a group of people who don't want to believe in that narrative because it's not really attached to Pulse. You really want to look at the PDI to Pulse pair to really get your your argument or debate or your talks on on how much can you actually get out of it. Um, I think the one that wins this battle, I think obviously Atropa won the battle just because of the narrative. Unless Richard Hart comes out and says P dies, it's, it's it's dead. There's no reason to trade that. Um, but and we know he's not going to say that. But if whoever wins the the battle against Rat Pulse will win this battle. And if you're able to cash out with a thick liquidity against Rat Pulse. Those are probably going to be the ones that see the most money come in through speculation. Um, so when I see anything that's seven hundred thousand market cap with eleven thousand, you know, in liquidity, I've got to have one hundred percent sure that I'll be able to get anything out of this uh, because I believe that is what that's definitely less than five percent. How much is that? Probably what three percent? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was on mute. But yeah, it's something like that. But I think these coins will do good. But I think you're absolutely right, Beards. People want to be able to know they can cash out, and not in like Spark Token. And you know that's what people were hesitant about with with uh, Tropa because it's such fat liquidity. But you have to go through PDI, which doesn't have as much liquidity. So these tokens do very well. The the bots move them up, but um the way they work makes them go up especially when they have volume but who can cash out on on because even with sunny's token or that uh a1a it was it didn't look like you were able to cash out i don't know if you could i wasn't in it but this is a meta these coins do do well that what his coin went to like seven or eight mil you know otropa went to 30 mil these coins are doing good yeah not i'm not hating on it so but you know one and a half percent
liquidity is is as tough as tough to us well. But hey, at the same time, Teddy Bear has once had that low, so I can't knock it and say, hey, it can't get higher, won't get better. Uh, the percentage won't get better because it, it, it is. I've seen it. I've seen it go up, and I've seen it happen. You just gotta have the community want to do it. And personally, I think the one that has the best branding, the best name, the best liquidity, and the best narrative wins the game. We already know Atropa won the game in that category. Um, I think there's room for one, maybe two more, um, unless everyone's just doing the same thing and just attaching themselves to Atropa and, and you know doing their own thing, which you could do also. So, you know. I'm not going to doubt it. One thing I would say is get your Dex tools up. It's been long enough, so someone should be able to take some games Guys, I, and put point I, five. I, again, on. look, if I can just finish and say, like, I, again, we're not like a troper in a lot of mechanic ways, and, and I can understand the confusion, but, look, we're basically elephant money tech on Pulse Chain, and, look, I'd encourage any, that you guys to, you know, come have a chat with us at some point and let us really give a deep dive on this because it is unique technology. We are here for Pulse Chain, and, uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, I just think it's really selling it short to to write it off as, like, you know, doing something that looks like a troper, you know what I mean? Is it elephant Definitely tech, isn't elephant elephant tech a branch of, uh, isn't a troper a branch of elephant tech? No, heavens no. Mm. Heavens no, man. Look, seriously, I know it's not for everybody and absolutely mad respect for everyone having their own ways of getting gains. But like I said, we're something new here. I well, think you're right. We well, could be a different, different meta. Hold on, hold on. What's what's different than your coin? Okay. To so the life? biggest and thing that's different. Stuff because we, we're not talking about the narrative. But what's right, okay, point? okay. So, th so the biggest thing is different is, again, that you guys missed is that you're looking at that 11K liquidity pool. You're not seeing the 60K other liquidity pool with Spock Swap that we have, right? But the reason why everyone's still able to cash out is literally because of that W Pulse backing, right? At any point in time, if any of those third party markets crashed or had some sort of weird price thing go on with it for whatever reason, right? Everyone could still come back, burn their GOAT tokens, and get W Pulse out of the middle. And that, there's $750,000 almost of W Pulse sitting there that can be redeemed at any time. You know, that's what's different about it is that these tokens don't come into, cre into existence without the appropriate backing being put behind them first, right? So even if you're messing with something of GOAT token on the market, right, you've still got that backing, which is permanently increasing from the other functions so in our can ecosystem. I, can I cash out $10,000 right now if I wanted to? With that? Yeah, you could. Oh, if you had $10,000 worth of GOAT, you can go and do that. Let me finish my question because anyone can cash out $10,000 in a coin. It's just a matter of how much right. slippage you're going to play. So my answer to my question is, can I cash out $10,000 without freaking wrecking the chart right now? Yes, absolutely. Out of, the rat, pulse, of, out of, rat, the out of, out of rat pulse where I could use something like Patias and, and, and I would be able to get that out. So in, the, in this particular moment, given that we are still building liquidity, it would be through redeeming the tokens or burning them. That's right. So out of that wrapped pulse would basically be where that 10K comes from. You walk away with your pulse, the goat shrinks out of the supply, and the ecosystem continues on. You face a 5% fee on mint and redemption, which helps us to gather that liquidity for later on mint and redeems. But that's it. Like I said, the, you know, you're looking at the third-party liquidity, and I, I can understand the crooked eye. But what you're missing is the almost $750,000 of single asset backing there, which backs every token, right? So like I said, it's, it's, it's a bit to unpack, but we definitely encourage you to come check us out better, right? All right, man. I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll, I'll do more research on it for sure because it, um, it definitely – the way it looks, it sounds like it's a little bit more than what the eye can see, at least in the beginning. So we'll check it out. We appreciate the time very much, boys. Thank you very much for letting us get up here. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks, man. All right. All right, Beards, you picked them. Let me see. 